G'day YouTube, this is part two of the uh, ERD cardinality videos that, I, uh, that I've been making. Okay, now I mentioned before the customer to sales order relationship, now moving on to the sales order to product relationship. Okay, now I'll just continue on. Now you can see sales order, remember that's single individual, say it as not as a plural, but sales order has one to many products. Now in real life, you can understand that to be you know, pretty obvious. Uh, there's a sales order that can have many, many products. A customer can put a lot of sales uh, products on their sales order or a minimum of one. Now some people will actually argue uh, that some sales orders can have zero, but uh, most business logic dictates that uh, you do actually need a minimum of one product on an order. But it, then again, it just does depend on the business that you're working with. In a, in a university uh, scenario, if this is assignment related for you, then you just have to, you can choose either way actually. It can be uh, zero to many or one to many. You just have to state that business, that that is a business assumption really. Now going backwards, again singular, so product has zero or many sales orders. Now when you think about it, that's quite true too because a product does not have to be on one sales order or any sales orders, hence the uh, zero or optional, so it is optional. But then again, a product can be on many, many sales orders. So that pretty much wraps up cardinalities in a nutshell. Um, if you've got any questions, just give us a yell, but uh, I really do hope that's helped you guys out a bit. Alright, cheers, thanks for your time.